Hello guys, welcome back to UK Firearms and Air Guns. Just before we start the video, if you can't hear any music in the background, I do apologise, it's my girlfriend just cooking downstairs. So today's subject I want to talk about is 22LR snap caps. Now I don't want this video to go on too long, um, I just want to have a quick discussion about this. Right, so the snap caps that I'm talking about today are the Bisley snap caps and you get 20 in a packet and they retail for around about $8.99 on Amazon. Okay. So the snap cap itself is made out of a plastic polymer, okay, and it's of red colour, of like a clear, clear see-through red colour. All right. So if we can compare the 22LR snap cap to an actual 22LR round, this one being a CCI subsonic hollow point, copper washed round, as you can see there, the dimensions are the same. Okay, it's the same size as you'd expect it being a 22LR snap cap and that being a 22LR round. Now, what is the purpose for these snap caps? Well, these ones are designed so you can practice your firearm drills and skills and also things like your trigger pull and to also aid in helping you train someone how to use a firearm. Okay, um, if you've got a total and a novice like your son or your daughter, maybe your wife, your husband. Okay, snap caps like this are a great way to actually see that they are taking on board what you're telling them on what to do with the rifle. Okay, so you can see if they've unloaded the rifle correctly by, you know, is the chamber clear? Okay, do they know how to load a magazine? All right, um, you know. If, you, if they get a stoppage, do they have to sort that stoppage out safely? Okay, and we'll come on to that in a bit because these are perishable items. So um, once they start to get a bit used and a bit old, you do start to find that you, you do start to get the odd stoppage with the actual snap cap itself. So in some ways that is a good thing because it allows you to actually teach um, stoppage drills and also for yourself, to practice your stoppage drills okay so it becomes second nature all right i would just like to say one thing at the moment sorry if you do notice that my hands are a bit dirty um it's because i was working on my car today um i've washed my hands about 15 times now <laughs> okay that's a little bit of exaggeration but you know if you work on cars you know what i mean it is actually quite hard to get the grease out of your hands all right but yeah anyway so like i said this is a perishable item so unfortunately after a while the snap cap does start to perish all right uh, it's not too bad though i mean you get a good like 30 or 40 hits on the actual snap cap before the snap cap itself starts to perish now if i can actually find it i will show you one that is actually past it a little bit all right um if i can find it there we go look you got one here right and as you can see there, if my camera pick it up correctly, the rim starts to mushroom out. And on this particular one, the rim has actually snapped off a little bit. But bearing in mind, I've had these snap cats now for about a year and a bit. And this has had multiple, multiple strikes on the rim of this snap cap. So it's not like you just do it once and then that's it. I mean, it takes multiple, multiple strikes of the firing pin on the snap cap. All right. But like I said, this is not totally useless because if you want to, let's say you're training up your son or your daughter on how to use a 22 lr rifle or, uh, you know, just basic firearm safety um, procedures, right? You could put this one in there in the magazine because it will load into the magazine and it will cause a stoppage. And then you can then watch them and see how they deal with the stoppage. You know, do they keep the rifle pointed down range, et cetera, et cetera. You know, are they confident with how to actually deal with it? All right. Or do they make a pig's ear of it? So then you know then do you have to give them a little bit more training, etc. Alright, okay. So why are these plastic ones better than the metal ones? Because you can get metal and aluminium ones. Well, just for the simple fact being that these are actually designed for you to actually use your trigger, okay? The aluminium ones are not supposed to be used for actual... Um, striking of the firing pin because it can still damage the firing pin where these ones are perfectly fine um 
to be used um, in all manners of firearm drills. So checking your trigger pull, checking the weight of the trigger, etc., etc. Right, trying to teach someone how to do proper trigger discipline, proper follow through, etc., etc. Okay. All right. So what we're going to go on to now is I just want to show you uh, just loading up some variety of different type of magazines. So the first magazine that I've got here is the Smith & Western 1522 magazine that I use in my Chris Defiance. Okay, so before we do that, there you can see, look, this is just a normal one. It's had a few strikes in it, yeah, but it's perfectly fine to use. All right, I'm not going to check the rims, so... If I put a dodgy one in there, I'll put a dodgy one in there. Um, so be it. All right. Well, that is the one with the stoppage one. I did see that. So let's not put that one in there. All right. So as you can see, they load up in the magazine. Normal, like any other 22LR round. That is a 1522 mag. Another popular magazine, CZ452 mag. Don't worry, I'm actually going to show you these operating in the rifles in a minute, alright? Okay. There you go. CZ mag. Another popular mag. Unfortunately, I can't show you uh, this operating in this magazine because I haven't got my Ruger 1022 here. It's at the armory at work. Alright. But as you can see, you know, personally, you know my thoughts and feelings about the Ruger 1022 if you've seen my previous videos. But, uh, yeah, it, it loads up. Okay, I know it's a popular, popular rifle, but it loads up fine inside the magazine, yeah. Right, the next magazine that I've got is, this is to me, AP-80. Yeah, this is quite an older rifle. Um, you know, I think these were produced around about the 1980s. Right, okay, just bearing in mind, right, because I have had these for a while, these snap caps might produce a bit of a stoppage when I'll show you the operation, but I assure you when I had these from new, um, they worked 100% flawlessly. They are really, they're actually pretty good for the price that you pay for them, you know, eight ninety nine. Yeah, and they do allow you to do your rifle drills, because you don't really want to be putting triggers and stuff like that and your firing pins hitting steel um, chambers and things like that because you can break the actual uh, firing pin as we all know that all right so the first rifle we're going to try is the semi-auto Chris Defiance okay so there we go look load the magazine Right, I've got to try and get this in a position where you can see it actually working. Okay. So, there you go. Try and put it that way. I say, I want to try and get it so it does actually eject it. Oh, sorry, as you saw there, it didn't feed the round that time. Right, okay, this is not feeding. Let's try it again. There we go, fed it that time. Fed it that time. There you go. And that's all rounds out of the magazine now. Empty mag, so the bolts lock back to the rear. So as you can see, it does work. Um, unfortunately, a couple of times it didn't pick up the rounds, but like I've said, I've had these snap caps now for about a year or so, about a year and a half. You do start to get drawings with them after a while because just where the firing pins are hitting the snap caps, uh, it's mushrooming them out the actual rim of the snap cap. All right, so we've got the AP-80 now. All right. There we go. There we go, got a stoppage of that one. So that's what I mean by it being able to teach you stoppage drills. All right, which is pretty good, because as you can see there, we've got a stoppage. So let's clear that stoppage. Get that off. 
There we go. Stoppage clear. Put the magazine back on. Sorry, I know this does look a little bit awkward, but it's because I'm trying to get this in um, at the same time as actually filming it as well. So, as you can see, it's loaded. And there we go, we've got an empty mag. This rifle doesn't lock back, but as you can see, the magazine is actually empty. There you go. So I can move on to the next rifle now, which you just saw two semi-automatic rifles, one being an AR-15 style and one being an AK-47 style 22. Okay, and the next one we're gonna move on to now is the bolt action, my CD452, all right? Just so you know, I have all safe safety checked all these rifles before we start. All right, but there we go. Magazine there. Oh, you know what? I might as well actually load up the whole magnet. Instead of just doing three or four. Yeah, that's the damaged one, so I don't want that because I don't want to make, have a stoppage on this one. There you go, five round mags, they're just snap caps. There you go, but flawlessly. So, you know, to summarize, for $8.99 for 20 of them, you can't go wrong. I mean, in some ways, it's actually better that they that after a while, after you've used them a bit, um, that they don't function 100% reliably because it does actually allow you to do your stoppers drills. And as we all know, repetition, repetition, and practice makes perfect. So it becomes muscle memory. All right. So that's a good thing, I think, personally. You know, but if you just want to do the actual, you know, trigger control and to check your how your trigger works, there's no reason why you just can't pull it in. Like that. And not use the magazine. Um, you know, if you, if after a while that you know, most of your snap caps actually get actually damaged and ruined. But for eight ninety nine for twenty, you know, and they last, you know, a year or two years or so, they're not bad. You know, depends how much you use them. Do you know what I mean? So I hope that video was useful, um, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. So goodbye.